uh, aboard Space Shuttle Discovery, the crew is setting up uh, for the second and final opportunity uh, available today for landing uh, to the Kennedy Space Center. The ground track a little bit more westerly, the uh, cross range a little more, a little shallower than the first. The uh, ground track will bring uh, discovery across the Pacific, across Central America, straight up the uh, middle of uh, the Yucatan Peninsula, crossing the coastline and the Gulf of Mexico with a uh, more westerly approach to the Kennedy Space Center. The runway of choice uh, again targeting runway 15 and um, leading to that uh, wide left overhead turn uh, setting up for that uh, touchdown and landing the uh, turn angle right now a little bit um, a little bit wider than uh, the previous uh, landing opportunity this one being around 260 degrees uh, setting up for final approach to landing um, and of course the uh, team will be watching closely the weather and whether uh, the trends are in the favor of uh, bringing discovery home safely today Discovery Houston, you are a go for the deorbit burn. Discovery go for deorbit burn. 30 seconds to the deorbit burn. Propulsion Systems Officer reports two good engines. Uh, guidance Navigation Control uh, reports good control on the vehicle. Translation. Houston, no deltas to your Ohms RCS post burn reconfig, and we can give you some heads up on uh, some of the subsequent pages when you're ready. Discovery copies. Approaching uh, 23 minutes now to the point of entry interface uh, as uh, Discovery uh, begins the uh, orientation, a, re a reorientation to a nose forward position, a wings level, and the uh, nose uh, tipped up about 40 degrees, the standard uh, entry uh, profile for Space Shuttle. As it uh, approaches the point uh, after entry interface, uh, some six minutes or so after entry interface when the heating uh, the atmosphere begins to build up on the outside of the vehicle. Twenty minutes now uh, to the point of entry interface. That's the uh, point in the altitude where Discovery begins uh, interacting with the uh, upper reaches of the atmosphere at about 400,000 feet in altitude. Until that point, uh, Discovery continues to travel uh, at orbital velocity, which is about 17,000 miles per hour. The uh, 
the breaking as a natural breaking of the uh, atmospheric conditions as they build up on the orbiter as it drops through the atmosphere a series of uh, wide uh, banks uh, known uh, affectionately as S turns only because it looks like an S on a flat ground track the uh, orbiter continues to um, dissipate the energy that's built up during launch and Discovery now has fallen below 400,000 feet. This is the point where uh, the atmosphere starts building up on the vehicle uh, as it begins to descend through the Earth's atmosphere. This is the point where the uh, vehicle starts uh, slowing down due to the atmospheric conditions. At present, uh, all of the uh, reaction control system thruster jets, the roll, pitch, and yaw jets are all active. They uh, are systematically uh, deactivated as sent different uh, levels of air pressure are uh, felt on the vehicle.